Step 4, we're going to be create customer inquiry. This is where we're going to be starting the process of selling bicycles to the customer. It's going to be inside logistics, sales and distribution, sales, inquiry, and create. Double click on it. Okay. So, we're going to first insert the inquiry type. I am. Make sure the sales of the distribution channel and division is on in this manner, UE00, WH, and also BI. Afterwards, click on enter. Or the green button with the tick, that is enter. Now, this part we're going to insert the information related to the customer order. We're going to be selling seven bikes to the bike zone. So insert the bike zone information by using the search term. 1005, press on enter, and you will see the customer number that you have created. Mine is 25856. Now, you can search differently by city. Let's say Orlando. Press on enter, you will get a unique search result. But let's say you want to search in general, you're not sure your search term, so you can try to search just by Orlando. When you click on enter, you're going to see a lot more. So that is one way to use the search term. Insert back 1005, that is my search term. Yours should be different. And click on the company that I have defined. Next, we're going to insert the customer reference, customer reference date. And a few more information that is related to date. First, the customer reference. This will be based on the usual number of your ID, of your SAP ID. Mine is mine. I'm going to stick with one zero zero five. Customer reference date. We can just use uh, the date that you access to this function that is uh, for today. Is going to be on the ten of June. So the next part, we're going to insert the validity of this inquiry. So we're going to make it one month, starting on the 10th of June, until next month. Now, this information valid too, depending on how fast you can finish this case study, uh, I would advise that if you want to be safe, do it in three months. For me, currently you see the, it's seen here, I'm going to do it in one month. Okay, next, we're going to basically input the information related to the items that is going to be ordered. Okay, there's going to be two items, the last touring bike, color black and professional touring bike color black so this part here will we will be utilizing the material code the material number okay we're not sure what is going to be inserted so you can use the search help you can go through by using Let us see. Yes, this one. This should be okay. This one is aligned with the case study. Sales material by description. Insert the sales of information UE00 material star 005. Okay, it will list down all the different materials for that sales of that contains the N number of 005. So, there is deluxe touring bike black and also there is professional touring bike black. 
First, we're going to insert the deluxe touring button black. Okay. Insert the order quantity afterwards, whereby we're going to be ordering. Uh, the buy zone is going to be ordering five. Next item, insert the professional deluxe touring bike. Sales ox still the same, UE00. And the material we're still going to be using star or asterisk 005. Press on enter. And you can see the professional touring bike at the middle of the list. Okay, double click on it. Okay, it's already there. Insert order quantity is going to be two, so total seven bicycles. Press on enter to populate all the informations. Okay. And you see the total value is going to be 21,000. Expected ORD value is going to be around 6,000. So we're going to change something a bit to make it the value much more higher. This is related to the probability of this order. Currently, by default, in the system is 30% probability. Now, we're going to change it to 70%. Now, if you notice inside the case study and also uh, the case study instruction and also the buttons in the SAP screen is a little bit different. So, just refer back to the screens that is provided inside the PDF file and try to find where does the button is being positioned. Currently, the item, uh, the button is being called item condition. If you look for it hard enough, there is that button that is this one item conditions the layout of the button is somewhat similar okay now in here we're going to change the probability go to sales a tab okay on the lowest part there is this input called order probability currently the value is 30 Three zero. We're going to change it to seventy. This is just some features that is available inside SAP that would assume how how successful the sale is going to be. Does the customer going to buy the items or not? Currently, order probability uh, by default is a little bit pessimistic. That is thirty percent. That is by default. So we're going to change it to 70%. Okay. Next item, click on next item. We're going to change the professional deluxe touring by order probability. Also 70%. Okay. After that is being done, we can go back to the previous screen by pressing on the back button, that is the green button at the top. Okay, now you notice that the value has changed. Okay. Furthermore, we can literally from this screen we can check whether when the buy zone ordered five bicycles, we can immediately see how much bicycles do we have. Click on display availability and you can see here, in total there are 95. This could be different because mine, the data is already been used, yours could be 100. Save the inquiry by clicking on the save button and then you are done with this step. The next part is basically we're going to be doing the quotation.